In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at turning pages on two iPads at the same time using an app called Unreal Book. Now, this iPad is paired up with this air turn, so I can turn pages with this forwards and backwards. And after I finish syncing up these two iPads with both of them running Unreal Book, you're going to be able to turn pages on both of these machines at the same time using this as a master and that one as a slave. Okay, so let's go into the details about setting up Unreal Book to synchronize between both of these machines. Using this iPad as the master iPad, again, I have Unreal Book open. If you don't see the toolbar, just tap the middle of the screen, you'll see the toolbar appear up here on the top. Now, look to the icon, the furthest right among the sets that you see here. It looks a little bit like a sprocket. Tap on that icon, and you're going to see a couple of selections. Select Bluetooth Settings over here, and then a new dialog box is going to open up. And you're going to see the option to connect to an iPad. Go ahead and tap on that, and it's going to start searching for other iPads within its vicinity. Let's go over to the other machine and get that set up to, be, to complete the synchronization. All right, now I'm on the other iPad, again, also running Unreal Book. Now, it's very important to realize that for both iPads, you need to have the same files in order to be able to turn pages. So in other words, I need to have the same uh, PDF files with the same file names uh, on book copy to both machines for another, for, in order for this to work. So again, toolbar on top, look for the sprocket, and look for Bluetooth settings over here. We're going to connect. Now, in this, since this is going to be the slave iPad, I'm going to actually do one additional thing. Down here, you see an option that says slave mode. Make sure that's turned on so that it can receive all the proper page turning and song changing commands. Now, same thing, we're going to tap connect to iPad. And in a moment, we're going to go to the other machine. For both of these machines, we're going to have the option to select and receive the iPad over here and to receive the synchronization. Okay? It's going to take a few moments. Now let's run to the other machine and accept the pairing and the connection request. We're back at the first iPad over here, and as you can see, it is now it's a new dialog box asking that AirTurn iPad 2 would like to connect. You simply tap accept. Okay? Once you've accepted, both the machines will now be connected. You can go ahead and close this little dialog box on both machines. Okay? And you should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and pan out so you can see what's happening on both machines at the same time. Okay, so now if you have this properly connected, so all I need to do is I'm going to tap a little of the screen to make sure that the toolbar disappears. I'm going to do the same thing for this machine just to be safe as well. Now, by turning pages, as long as you have the same file open, on both machines, you can turn pages on this machine, and it'll control that machine as well. What's also really, really cool is, if you want to, I'm tapping the bottom here, I have a different playlist. I can choose that, and it'll also open the same song, the same as long as you created to have the same song files, it'll open songs also on that other iPad. Now, for this particular uh, playlist, most of these songs are one page long, so this will switch to the next song, and as you can see, it'll switch to the next song automatically as well. Very, very cool. Forwards and backwards. Again, very important to remember, you need to have the same files copied to both machines, both running Unreal Book. And that's a quick tutorial on how to synchronize two iPads to turn pages using one iPad to control another iPad using a really neat app called Unreal Book. Just one more quick note, anytime you want to disconnect your iPad from the other, go to the toolbar, the same sprocket over here, go to Bluetooth settings, and you can simply press on disconnect to iPad to remove the connection from the other machine. Same thing you could do on the other machine as well. 